Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. This is gonna be a really big market vlog. Um, I signed up for Elfia Haushoudens um, a few months back, which is this really big event. It has 25,000 visitors, I think. Um, and it's April 6th right now, and Elfia starts at April 20th. And it's two days. Um, I have prepped a little bit already, but there's still lots I need to do. I made some illustrations that I want to have. I made like this one. It's a little bare. And then I made this little no rain, no flowers print. And this one, and I'm still working on the last one. Now, last week I heard I also got into Playground, the art department. I didn't think I would get in because uh, they announced a few, like I emailed them a few months back like, hey, I want to be in your art market. And they announced some um, art market people like two months back, one month back. So I thought I just didn't get in and they um, just didn't email me. Um, but then I got an email last week if I want to join Playgrounds, uh, which is the 18th and the 19th of April. So that's f four market days in a row. Like, like the total time for the market is 41 hours. And outside of that, I also have to set up and like travel there and stuff. So it's gonna be, oh my God, I'm gonna die probably. But it's gonna be so fun. Um, yeah, so it's less than two weeks away. And I thought I would show the process. Also, I heard last week that I got rejected for art school. Which sucks. It really sucks. Um, so I'm gonna try at another one. But that's... Like, you need to have your portfolio and everything completed by April 28th. Uh, so I will also have to work on that. So it's gonna be a busy two, three weeks. Um, and I will take you along. Also, my hair is so curly. It's so pretty today. I do really need to dye it again, because it's just yellow. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Have fun! Hello, hello. So I ordered prints and bookmarks um, like a few days ago and then the day, like I ordered it three days ago and then two days ago I got an email like, oh a laminating machine is broken so they can't laminate the bookmarks and I decided to like wait until it's fixed but I really hope it's gonna be fixed today because I think if it isn't I'm gonna tell them to just proceed without laminating it because um, it's like Thursday today and I still need to put all the 
uh, prints in like a little sleeve and put the price on them. So that takes time as well. Um, you would think print ordering prints is like the easiest thing of market prep, but no. I'm not filming that much because it was just really chaotic and I just basically crocheted lots. Um, I'm all packed up for playgrounds. This is like my backpack and my suitcase and a little bag of prints. Um, I'm gonna go set up in a few hours. I'm really excited. The organizer of the market seems so nice so I can't wait to meet her. finished the first day of playgrounds and it was so good like I really didn't know what to expect but it ended up being so busy um, I'm like really short on like the small plushies and I made like some plushy skins during the uh, market and I filled those so I have a few more now but I think I'm gonna save them for Elfia because I think 
Elf here will be even bigger because it has like 25,000 visitors and Playgrounds only has like 5,000. Well, only. Um, yeah, I do think that like people at Playgrounds are more willing to spend money on art, but um, yeah, we'll see. I'll just save some for. Elfia and I have a few, quite a few markets in May as well, so if I don't sell them, well, it's fine, you know. Um, but yeah, it was such a good day, I'm just gonna chill for a bit and then go to bed. <laughs> hello, hello, it is the Wednesday after the markets and I basically just passed out. Um, <laughs> And I was just so tired for like the last two days. Um, but I thought I would talk about how the marks went. I didn't film Elfia at all. Um, I don't know, it was just so cold and so busy and it was so stressful because we had to walk like 45 minutes from like the parking lot to our space through the mud and with like a suitcase that was 30 kilograms and no one knew where to go it was just it was messy and I was so stressed I just didn't have time to film um, it went fairly well I thought you would be curious about like how it went financially so I got it written all down here um, so first the cost total cost for my boots for these two events was 708 euros and 15 cents then I spent 30 euros on gas like my parents uh, drove me there but um, yeah they charged me 30 euros it, it probably costs more but they're my sponsor <laughs> then we spent way too much too much on food we just it was so cold and we wanted warm food and we were bored and there was so much good stuff and we were like placed next to a noodle stand so that that uh, went wrong a little bit so we spent 90 euros on food in those four days and then the like the fee that the app that i take card with takes was 22 euros and 23 cents then uh, the profits uh, all the money that was brought in by cart was 1408 euros and then cash was 675 no 57 um, euros and five cent, uh, 50 cents so the total ended up being 1215 and 12 cents which I think is pretty good um, I have like eight plushies left during playgrounds all the all the small plushies were sold out um and during elfia i have like like eight plushies left including the big ones so if i made more stuff i definitely could have sold more but i just didn't have the time because i heard i would be able to go to playgrounds two weeks ago so yeah, I did what I could, and I think it went really well. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, now I'm just gonna re work really hard on my art school application because it needs to be finished by Sunday, and I have so much left to do. Um, so I might film little bits of that. Yeah, so I enjoyed that.
I just turned in all my art school admission assignments and um, I will show you them tomorrow but I just want to chill now. I'm gonna crochet some frogs, I made myself a cup of tea, it's pink, <laughs> and yeah I'll see you tomorrow. Let me show you what I made for the home assignments. Uh, we had to create five works based on a poem. Um, I'll read the poem to you. There won't be this sudden moment of profound realization that you are beautiful. Instead appreciating, your body and yourself will come gradually. It will start with thanking your permanent home for all she does for you. Looking at the skin colored walls and not wishing to design them in any other way. It will come in, ap in appreciating the way the muscles in your face tighten and pull to reveal your emotions. Eventually, in the laughter in your morning voice, little at a time you will begin to see just how exquisite you are. It's from the book Home by Whitney Hanson. I love her so much. Um, and it's basically about slowly finding self-love, I think. So, um, first of all, I made this drawing of like it's so light on here but it's like skin but instead of, of like pores you have like little hearts um, and I made a gouache painting of like someone pulling away um, at the floor to reveal a really beautiful um, mosaic the painting is so ugly, I'm not going to show it, but it was the design for the mosaic. Um, then I also made this bunch needle mirror. Oh my god, you see the mess. I'm sorry. Um, and I also made a digital comic. I will put that on the screen somewhere, I think. Um, yeah, there was also another assignment that I had to do. It, uh, you had to basically combine the thingness of three things. So I combined like the way you were able to shape yarn and the way that mosaics always fit like perfectly into each other, and uh, like the size of a book to make a little crocheted book cover. I don't have it with me right now. Um, yeah, and now I have to wait like four to five weeks to hear if I get in. I'm not too hopeful to be honest, but also it's fine if I don't get in. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. I think the next video will be a little May vlog or something. Uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.